So I get one. I had him 5-1. You could have him 6-0. Oh. But definitely 5-1. Second half of the fight I had, maybe 3-3, three, three, maybe 4-2 of the best reward. With the knockdown, Sergey wins the fight easily. But when, when, the, when the decision was announced, the judge didn't see it that way. So, you know, listen, that, that's part of boxing. So he had to move on. So now we moved on, and now we have the rematch. And now we have to work on getting the title back. Do you have any concerns going into this rematch? Because they have Andre Ward as the favorite. Do you have any concerns the fight being in Vegas again and the judges possibly going against you? Uh, you know, well, those are, there are always those concerns. But I can't let that hurt my mind process. I have to go in thinking that my, my guy is going to win and we're the best we can to show the fans that we deserve to win the first fight. So I'm not really worried about the judges, the referee, you know, Sir gets to do his job. If he does his job, then he should be victorious. If he's not, then the fans will see for the second time around that he got ripped off. How detrimental could it be getting a second loss for Sergey Kolev? It, it can be very detrimental because you have a fighter who punches hard, a real good puncher. Who's going to want to fight him for no, for no money? You know, if he's not champion, he, his opponents aren't going to pay that much money. Who's going to want to step in the ring with this guy right. the way he punches? So he needs to, you know, it's, it's not the end of his career and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not death. Right. But it's sure close to it for him. <laughs> so he has to, you know, be victorious and, you know, get his belt back so he fight, people will fight him. If not, then his role is going to be harder. He can still come back, but it's going to be a tough role when he's 34. Right. What did you guys learn from this fight? You know, the first fight he overtrained. Was his, physical, his condition coach had him too much, too many different things, too much of it. Um, just has to concentrate on the boxing part and you know, take care of his conditioning, but don't don't overtrain yourself on that part of it. Um, I think he, and like he said, he he kind of um, he kind of gave Ward too much credit. Mm -hmm. like, like Ward was just too good. And he realized that the face of my words are that good. He said, I was beat him handling. Yes, you were. I told you five years ago you could beat this guy. You just, you know, you can't believe everything that you read. But now that he's been in the ring with Ward, he sees the Ward not the guy he thought he was. Now, are you going to be preparing Sergey differently for this rematch? A little bit different, yeah. There's certain things you have to watch out for. Uh, certain things that he, he, he can't do that he did. The first, the first fight, he held too much himself. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. that. That wears you out. That right there wears you out. So, certain things we're going to do in this fight a little bit different than we did, than we did the first fight. Do you expect to see the same Andre Ward in the second fight? How much more can he really change? Honestly, right. I mean, he, he can be more aggressive. That, that plays in our hand. He be, he's not going to move around much. That plays right in our, our hand. What's he going to do? He, 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 he can be strong all of a sudden, a stronger fighter. I'm just going to do Andre does best. And the first time he gets hit, he will revert back to where he does best. So I don't see much of a change. You might try to be busy. That's the, I, I like that. I want you to be busy. You feel your fighter can make the better adjustments? I, I believe he can because he didn't. The second half of the fight, he didn't fight as good as he could have. Andre, on the other hand, fought better because for survival and, and, and you know he survived. But can he can he do more than what he did? No. They they said the same thing about Sergey. So I guess I will tell you what. We'll see on the seventeenth who does better than they did the first time around. And are you expecting another twelve round fight? Possibly. You can get that. You know, Andre has proven that he can get it from a knockdown. Not a solid knockdown, but he can get back. And, uh, you know, it, goes, it might go well. Do you think when Sergey Kovalev scored that very first knockdown in the second round, do you think he had it in his head that it was in the bag and that he was going to get the knockout later in the fight? He may have. He may have decided. He may have, you know, figured I'm going to knock this guy out. Uh, and, you know, that, that might have kind of messed up his, uh, his game plan a little mm -hmm. bit. How do you prepare a fighter like that who has knockout power, who's known to knock guys out, and he scores a knockdown, and he's trying to get the knockout? How do you prepare a fighter like that? You gotta, you gotta keep reminding him. You gotta keep reminding him. To, you know, you can't, you can't overlook the fact that you, you might not get the knockout. You may knock him down, but don't, don't get crazy. Don't, don't lose your game plan. Don't fall. Don't, don't get away from it. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, final prediction for this fight? Um, well, listen, if, if everything goes according to plan and the judges uh, are across the board, <laughs> I still guess you win the fight, second fight. Either, like I said, either by decision, stop or knockout. All right. Thank you.